Hello everyone, welcome back to Chemical Engineering and Aspen channel. As you know, these days we are focusing on the simulation of various equipment as a recap of our previous simulation files. Like we are repeating some videos for the better understanding of the viewers. So today we are bringing another video for our valuable viewers in which we will be using shortcut distillation column in Aspen Hysis to separate an equimolar methanol water mixture which is entering the distillation column at 25 degrees centigrade and 101.325 kilopascal which is 1.01325 bar. The top product should contain 98 mole percent methanol. Obviously it's a binary mixture so obviously the remaining 2% will be water. The bottom product must contain 99 mole percent water, remaining 1% will be methanol. Now we have to simulate a shortcut distillation column to find various parameters such as reflux ratio, number of stages, condenser duty, deep water duty. These are the initial estimates and using these estimates then we will move to the simulation of regress column. So let's move to asperhysis. So first we will add the components. Our two components involve methanol and water. After that we will go to the fluid package, click on add and select the property package NRTL non-random two liquids from here. Once we have defined the components and the property package, we can go to the simulation environment and in separator you can see this one. This is the shortcut column. So we will click on it. We will paste it over here. And then we will double click on it to add the different streams. Like in inlet, we can say it as feed. Condenser duty, we can say it as C duty. Remember that once we add here, a stream is previous is added over here. So we need to just define the stream name, then click on enter, and everything is set out. This rate. Then our duty is reboiler duty. Write it and then bottoms. Mm -hmm. So we have defined all the required streams, which are either energy stream or material stream. There are three material streams: feed, slate, and bottoms. While there are two energy streams, reboiler duty and condenser duty. Our first task is to define the feed composition, feed pressure, temperature, and flow rate. So we will go to this worksheet and in temperature we will define it as 25 degrees centigrade in pressure 101.325 kilopascal or 1.01325 bar. Let's assume that the molar flow rate is 1000 k mole per hour and double click on it to get to the mole fractions which is 0.5 for methanol and 0.5 for water as it is an equimolar mixture. Click on OK. Now we need to go back to the design tab. And in parameters tab, we have to define the light key in bottoms and heavy key in distillate. Now the light key in bottoms, obviously among these two components, the light key is methanol and heavy key is water. So obviously light key in bottoms, we say methanol in bottom should be 0 0.01. As we said that there should be 99 more percent water in the bottom. So obviously the remaining 1% will be methanol. And similarly, we have said that the water in the top product should not be more than 2%. So heavy key which is water in this late it is 0 0.02. We assume no pressure drop in the system. So we will say 1.0.325 1 kilopascal and we have got the value of minimum flux ratio which is 0 0.607. Now we have to write down the value of external reflux ratio. If you see in literatures we have report, reported or we have seen that the external reflux ratio or the actual reflux ratio is 1.3 times or 1.5 times or 1.4 times or there is an age of 1.2 to 1.5 or 1.1 to 1.3 different literature have reported different ranges but if we see that it is the multiple of that minimum flux ratio so let's assume that we define 1.3 times of the minimum flux ratio so 0.607 to 1.3 so we define 0.7891 and you can see the bar has turned green. It means that our required simulation work has been achieved. How we can check it? We can go to this worksheet. In composition, you can see 98 mole percent methanol in distillate and 99 mole percent water in bottoms. These were the two requirements which are met 
And if you go to this performance tab, you can say that the minimum number of trades are seven because it's 6.15. So we will obviously go to the next digit, so seven. 14.97815, number of actual trades, optimum feed stage is seven. The condenser temperature is 64.76 degrees centigrade, reboiler temperature is 98.27. And accordingly, we get the flow rates of vapor and liquid in the rectifying and the sweeping section and the condenser and reboiler duties. This is how we simulate a shortcut column. And once we go to the rigorous column, we take this number of stages, this optimum feed stage, the reflux ratio, which we have defined over here, and then we apply the different design variables in the rigorous column to get our required result. But how we can do it, we will do it in the upcoming videos. So I hope you have understood all the aspects of this lecture. If you have any queries, feedback, suggestion, please provide it in the comment box and I would be happy to answer it. So that's it from today's lecture. Thank you so much. Please do watch, like, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Also click on the bell icon to get all updates related to this channel. Till then, it's goodbye. Stay tuned for more exciting videos on this channel.